everyone, Joshua Nesser, and today we're doing John Bull. But we're gonna put a myth to the rest, and that is, are full sizes equipped to do the hard trails? We got Jeff and his Dodge. We're gonna see, well, if a full size Dodge can do the trail. First things first, we need to air down. For me, that's 10 PSI. But for Jeff, it's a little different. 25? 24.5. Oh. It's pretty low for this truck. I'm over at, I'm over 9,000 pounds. 9,000 pounds plus truck going through John Bull. While most people say full sizes are only meant for towing vehicles too and they're to off-road at, some people disagree with that statement. Jeff Lee is one of those people. He loves to take his full-size Dodge out on the trail. Now, he typically does overland stuff, so rocks are going to be a different story. The group jumps out of their vehicles and surveys the famous Eastern Gatekeeper. Actually, pivot on. Everyone has a blue raptor. <laughs> Taking point is several members from the Way We Goes Off Road Club. They're going to head up the trail, and that way, if we need any assistance from above, there are people. With them making it look easy, the rest of the group is starting to head up the trail. That way, we have a weight above to winch from. Now, this isn't an easy obstacle. The group is out of the vehicles, inspecting the trail, and watching them go up to pick the right line. In no time at all, it's Jeff's turn to take his heavy truck up one of the most notorious hard trails here in Southern California. <laughs> Due to the overall size and weight of Jeff's truck, this one area of the trail is really going to be the deciding factor if this is possible. If we can get through here, we probably can do the rest of the trail even though there is some more technical places. Alright, just back up a little bit. With a little bit of spotting, Jeff was able to get through the obstacle, no problem. No outside assistance, no rock stacking. So, well. No rock stacking. Kicking butt. Let's get moving. The second pickup of the group is Jesse, and he's driving his slightly modified Toyota Coma. Now, this is probably the least equipped vehicle of our group, but on the other hand, a lot of people out there say Toyotas are the ultimate off-road vehicle. Well, we're gonna go ahead and challenge that statement and see if it's true. There you go, keep going. Straight. Actually, a little driver still. Keep the driver for a second longer. There you go. Straight now. <laughs> hey guys, you're doing good. The group has now made it through the lower section of the gatekeeper. Around the corner, we have the upper section. This area causes just as much problems, so we're not celebrating too early yet. The reason this section of the gatekeeper causes just as much problems as the area below is because these rocks move around quite a lot. 
When they move, they cause massive holes to be created and allows everyone to basically get stuck on their undercarriage making you so you have to back up, go forward, back up, go forward multiple times just to get the area. Once you reach the top, near the dead tree, there's another area that gives a lot of people problems. We ended up running into some traffic at the corner, so let's give me a chance to talk to Jeff to see how he's thinking he's doing. Well, so far we got through the main gatekeeper on the east side. Uh, we have a rock garden over here and it's been fine for my truck so far, except for the gatekeeper is kind of tight. So it requires some spotting, a few back and forth adjustments, and it was really not a big deal. We've done this before in my truck, so uh, actually this is the first time we've had it with the GFC on the top. And I don't know if anyone else with a full size and a GFC camper on the back has gone through a John Bull yet, but uh, this will be the one recorded time for us. So uh, it's good. Everything's good. Very fast and uh, very, very small. Now that the vehicle has passed, it's time to keep moving. This corner is known to give people lots of problems. So let's see how Jeff can do it in his full size truck. Upon getting Jeff out of the gatekeeper section, we still have to get the rest of our group through the trail. Next, Jesse has to get to the section, and it just shows how difficult this truly is, even in a smaller vehicle. Passengers, keep it up there. Okay, come on. Alright, now. Okay, let's go. 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 Straighten your wheels as you come up that rock. Oh, come on. All right, you're up. Now that we successfully made it through the gatekeeper section of the trail, we're gonna head up the corner and that's where we'll find Iron Man. For those who don't know about Iron Man, that's probably the single hardest obstacle that's optional on this trail. But first, Gotta stop taking the stunning views because this is one of the more beautiful trails. Keep going. Once it goes through, then back, okay? There you go. Straighten your wheels. Uh, you're, you're out flexing it. Back up and just get a little farther. Hard driver. Yep. Get up against up. that big rock. This one? Yeah. Yep. The reason this section is causing concern for the group is just how tight it is to get in here. There's really only one line and you have to have your rear tires in the right place where you get hung up on the rocks just like the jail before. Him. Jeff is taking it slow, trying to make the right line work for him. Keep 
While we were working our way through the gatekeeper in Iron Man, a group was intermittently catching up to us, so we decided to pull over and let them pass. Why we stopped when there was a hissing sound coming from Jesse's truck, so we stopped to investigate to see what's going on. While the group was working the prom, I was taken in the views. Off to our right we have a beautiful view of Lucerne Valley and Johnson Valley, and then back behind us you got the mountains, including San Gagonio and area. This is a great space to stop, as it is shaded, so if you were going to camp on this trail, this might be one of the places you would ideally pick. <laughs> what was the pressure first? Uh, we were getting 4.3. After a quick diagnosis, we realized what happened is the valve stem got cracked, but only on the outside. The valve cap, on the other hand, was broken and pushing on the valve stem, causing the air to leak out slowly. So by just taking off the valve cap, problems were reverted and we kept on going down the trail. As we work our way up the mountain, this is my favorite section of the trail. It reminds me of the Rubicon with the tall, dark pines and beautiful scenery. It really is a very beautiful trail. And like that, we are already at Tipsy Tree, so we're running up there to get the shot and watch the lead group make their way through the obstacle. For those who have never heard of this obstacle, this is a unique obstacle to this trail. And what it was is it used to be two trees you used to squeeze between with this off camber ledge. And what happens is it causes you to lean right and hit back. the inside tree. Well, sometime, some years back, the tree on the outside right. fell over. But still, because of the trees laying there, it causes you to get close to the inside tree and sometimes people end up sliding into it and hitting the quarter pedals. Even though this obstacle looks very easy on camera, watch people's facial reactions as you can really see how scary this obstacle is. <laughs> With Jeff's longer wheelbase, the group is very nervous how this is going to work. <laughs> Even though it looked rough, Jeff was able to get down the obstacle with no body damage and minimal scrapes. Now, it's my turn to run through this obstacle. Like butter, baby. More, more driver, driver. Hard driver. Our right, group is uh, tracking along. We just made it past the. Well, it used to be tree squeeze, now it's just a tilt, tilt tree, or whatever they want to call it now. 
Um, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're coming up on the overlook probably in about five, 10 minutes at this pace. And uh, probably stop somewhere towards the end of the trail to have lunch and figure out what we want to do anymore today. So we're going to keep moving. Watch Jeff. But overall, my impression is full size belong on the trail. With Jeff's brakes heating up, it was getting easier and easier to hear how far away he was. In fact, it was almost so easy, I couldn't tell the distance anymore. As we near the last major obstacle that we're concerned about, which is over by the overlook, we're getting Jeff through it. We're going to have to take our time as once we get around this corner, it's going to be potentially problematic. I quickly ran back to my Jeep to get going, and Jesse was trying to follow us down. Being so low, I didn't really think about that ground clearance is going to be a problem for him. Hard driver. Try backing up. Like that. Oh, be careful. Say, uh, come forward. Sorry, right, all right, forward, turn towards me, okay? No. All right, straighten your wheels up a little. Straighten your wheels up. All right, now stop, little back driver. Little driver. Back up now. Don't and hold your steering wheel, okay? Yeah. Going back? Yeah, backwards. Back and up. Keep going. Keep going. You're pivoting around. Keep going. Alright. Woo! Good job. Passenger. I will go slow. There you go. Keep going. Oh, great. Yeah, it's coming. Coming down. Holy slow. <laughs> From here, we got a few more rock gardens and a big tailing pile to stop to take our group photo. While we're pulling into the group spot to take a photo, Jeff mentioned that his truck, well, has the ability to float like a butterfly. With that, we wanted to see what he was talking about. You're blocking the road! The only thing to be said is that's a lot of weight in the air. As we're reaching the end of the trail, the plan was to stop the video here. But as we're exiting the trail, Jeff said, I want to show you some cool stuff. So first thing we need to do is get off the trail and then we'll see what he's talking about. While the rest of the group is starting to meet up, I'm reflecting back watching this trail and it was quite the legendary adventure and seeing a full size truck that's a diesel on top of that make it through such a tight rock crawling trail really impressed. It was amazing just to see that truck, nimble as it was, get through the trail. So we're just getting off the trail right now, I'm here with Jesse, so I mean what do you think of a full size Dodge through the trail? That was cool to see, but he didn't have any issues. I think I had more issues than he did. <laughs> Let's hear it. How was the trail? Trail was okay, same as usual. Uh, always getting stuck with the 14 volt on the front and on the rear. Getting stuck on some of the rocks that, uh, like, I wasn't moving forward. The smoke was blowing out. The diesel smoke. Uh oh, is it still on? Yeah. yeah. So the the diesel smoke was blowing out, but the truck wasn't moving forward because the torque converter was not in lockup mode. You live with that because this is like 
transmission built for drag racing, not for crawling. Well, this was truly one epic adventure. Be safe. Hope to see you on the trail.